Hey, my name's James Nicholson and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about interest-only mortgages. What are they? Should you consider one? Because at the moment, there's a scheme that the government has backed where if you have a residential property that you live in, you can actually switch to an interest-only mortgage for six months at the moment. Now, that will get your bills down and maybe get you some money in your savings. So you might want to consider that as well. So before we jump into this, as always, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification if you haven't done that already. Go on, do that right now. And smash the like button or tickle the like button. Do something to the like button, guys. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. I know it's a big ask, but it takes one second. Smash it over there and then we'll get started. So interest only. What is it? What's the difference? How does it work? What do you do at the end of an interest-only mortgage? That's what we want to know in this video. So there's two types of mortgages. We'll talk about both here. There's a repayment mortgage and there's an interest-only mortgage. Let's just say for both sake, we borrow £100,000. And this is 25 years that we're going to borrow it over. So this one here, repayment... That's what it says on the tin. It means every single month when you make a payment towards your mortgage, you're paying down the balance. So your loan's going to start at 100 grand. And then over time, it's going to get significantly less until it gets to zero. I had a mortgage recently that was so far through the mortgage. What happens is interest is front loaded. So let's just say... For argument's sake, you pay £100 a month on this, it will be more. But let's just say it is £100. Initially up here, you'll pay £100 and 80 to £90 of it will go towards interest and 20 will pay off the balance. But when you're at this end of the interest-only mortgage, then you're going to pay the £100 and that will be flipped round. 20 will be for the interest and 80 will go to pay the debt off. And that's what they do is they put all the interest at the front of the loan, right? <coughs> and so as you get through that, you'll see more money being paid down. So I recently, as the interest rates were going up, I had one of my deals, just one that was on a variable rate, right? And every month, as we had those 14 consecutive Bank of England rate rises, I was getting a letter saying, your interest rate has changed. But my payments were changing by about 50 pence. It was so little because I, I was in the last year of that mortgage, right? Hopefully that makes sense, right? Because I was at the end of the mortgage, nearly everything went to pay the balance off. I would paid pretty much all the interest off already. So it was quite easy and it was just too much hassle. It would have cost me too much money to move, in fact. So eventually we just paid that off and we completed it. <coughs> so... And that's how a repayment mortgage works. <coughs> Interest only is slightly different. So <coughs> with an interest only mortgage, in 25 years, <coughs> you're still going to owe £100,000. Now that worries some people. But here's what you've got to think about. Today, £100,000 is a lot of money. In 25 years, it will still be a lot of money, but it'll be considerably less. Let's make you understand this a little easier. So I started working in Burger King in 1999, and the minimum wage was um, three pounds for a short period of time, and then it went to 360. Now, in Dorking, in Surrey, that similar job would probably pay around 12 pounds an hour, more than is the minimum wage, but that's the sort of income that you'd look at around £12 an hour. That's four times the salary. So things have gone up in value. You think about how much you used to pay for a pint or how much you used to pay for all sorts of things. Things go up in value. So the value of that 100 grand debt is actually eroding over time. Now, a repayment mortgage is what you'd likely have on a residential property. An interest-only mortgage is what you have on a buy-to-let. And the reason the bank isn't worried about you paying the debt off is because on the residential mortgage, on the repayment mortgage, as you get older, you're likely to earn less and retire. 
right? That's what's likely to happen. So they want you to clear the balance before you retire. With an interest only buy to let mortgage, you're not paying the mortgage, your tenant is effectively paying. They're paying you rent, you'll take out the, pay the payment for the mortgage from that and the leftover you'll keep as your profit. So what do you do at the end of this interest only period? Well, you're not gonna have a 25 year mortgage, you're probably gonna have it for two years or five years. And at the end of that time, if you wanted to, you could switch it onto repayment. You've got that option. You could pay it off if you had the cash in the bank, or you could just take out another buy to let mortgage. And so it's not essential to pay it down. And what you'll see is over time, in 30 years, 40 years, £100,000 will not seem like a lot of money. You might not believe that now and you think that's hard to understand, but it won't. Your parents probably bought their house for 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand. I bought my first flat, which was just at getting a valuation out about 15 minutes ago for 45,000 pounds. It's now worth 250,000 pounds. And that's what happens over time. These prices get, or the debt gets eroded because the value of the money is going down. So the considerations on the interest only and why you might want to do it at the moment is the government have a scheme where you can do this for six months at the moment because of the cost of living crisis, because of the interest rates going up, hence because they also want to stay in power and they don't want lots of repossessions, you can switch your mortgage from repayment to interest only. That means you're not paying off any of the balance, but what it might do, depending on where you are, if you're early on in your mortgage life, what it might do is considerably knock down your payments. You might have a £500 payment, go down to a couple of hundred pounds. If you're near the end and the interest isn't much on your balance, it might not impact you so much. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. But you can speak to your lender about that. If you've got a buy to let, your option is to every few years, take a new mortgage out and extend the time or over time, switch it to repayment or save the money up and pay it off. Trust me, 100 grand today is a lot of money. But in 30 years, you'll be able to afford that. Everyone will be on 100 grand a year as the minimum, right? It will go up at that point and that's what will happen. So that's the difference between repayment and interest only mortgages. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do like the video, guys. That really helps us with the YouTube channel. And if you haven't bought the fundamentals of property investing, that's our core program. Hundreds of people have enrolled in that now. It's less than 50 quid. It's bonkers cheap. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can grab that for less than 50 quid today. Get enrolled, find out how to source properties, find out how to get below market value. What strategy should you use? Should you use a referred management strategy? Should you use service accommodation, lease options? All of these things are covered in that program. It's less than 50 quid. So click on the link and grab that. And while you're here, go and check out some more content on my channel, including this video right here.